What if I fuck up the solder and they're not actually soldered correctly and then I flash the ROM, would it break? No, it would just not do it. I mean, it'd be very hard for you to fuck that up though, because the points are very clear and there's nothing around them. But the uh, worst that would happen is you would get a short and the box wouldn't even start until you remove that solder with copper braid. Ooh, that sounds scary. So the copper braid is just used to soak up excess solder. It's literally just like a little, like, Q-tip made out of copper, and you just heat it up again, and it just like sucks the solder right back off like it was never there. Yep, yep. Uh, gotcha. It's an eraser for metal. <laughs> yeah. But, um, if you do it right, and it's very hard to fuck up because the points, like I said, they're less than a millimeter apart. Um, so you could even be the world's shittiest solder and still get it done. Once they're connected though, and the box is already soft spotted, you said, then you just boot up the hexam disk. Uh, and then in there is a tool that lets you flash the BIOS. Uh, if it's a 1.0 Xbox, you can do the 512 uh, kilobyte flash. If it's anything higher than that, like 1.01 to 1.5, you can do the 216 kilobyte or whatever the hell it was. And I would use Executor 2. Just realize if you do do this mod, you will be susceptible to the same shit I am, which is you got to move the controller forward whenever you press ignition. Otherwise, it reboots the game. Well, what if I just saw, what if I just TSOP'd it just to read my hard drive and get the data off that hard drive and then just never used it again? <laughs> like, I don't care about the ignition thing because I got two other Xboxes that work, you know what I mean? I mean... The whole point of doing this mod is so that you can pop any hard drive into it that you want, as well as play without the disk drive and all that stuff. Like, there's no... Yeah. I, I, just, want, I just want the information off this this 16-year-old hard drive. <laughs> oh. If that's all you want, then you could actually probably just plug it into an IDE to SATA adapter into a computer, like one that connects via USB drive. I've seen them. Yeah, but I don't have the EEPROM and stuff, so... I don't think you need it, do you? It, well, it's locked. I know well, that. I mean, the lock status just means that you won't be able to play it on another Xbox that's not hacked. Oh, are you saying if I plugged it into the PC, I'd have access to the E drive? Or I like... don't believe so, yeah. Really? I don't believe there's a... No, I, I, all the posts I was reading were saying, like, you're fucked. Or maybe, maybe you know more than me, I don't know. I'm not getting curious. They said there's some master password you can use that might unlock it, like... What, mine's it's like, it's digital, it's so like, digital, like I have my buddy's hard drive, uh, which is still locked, and I put it into my T-Stop hard drive to do the same thing, to look into it, and yeah, it still let me access it. Maybe when people say you're you're fucked, they just mean fucked as far as putting it in another Xbox. You gotta no. if it's that easy, then why the fuck ain't I just buying an adapter on Amazon for like twenty bucks? And why am I stressing over this? It, it's like like he's saying though, Kyle. If you T stop it, then you can use any your any of your hard drives on that one. You can back them all up, just using that box if you wanted. Yeah, yeah but, I, I mean, I, I have. Four out of the six backed up. I don't give a shit about the other one. I just want this one. I just want the data on this one. I'm not. I'm not against. I'm not opposed to trying it. I can try to TSOP the other one. Uh, I would do it just to have a TSOP box, but it's so flex. Like I got a two terabyte hard drive in my shit now. I mean, this is the only fucking game I play though. So like. <laughs> no, I only need about 400 megabytes or something. Yeah. Um, on that note, I did do a solid state drive. There is like no benefit to that other than weight of the box itself. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, like the speed difference in between uh, the solid state and the mechanical two terabyte, there's no difference. It's probably all gated by how fast the, the ID board can board. access it anyway. Yeah, I think, I think that's exactly what it well, is. That's, well, that's true, right? Yeah, it's still IDE. You're just adapting it, so it's still 
It would still maybe be maybe I'll try the um, TSOP, and if I fail miserably, then I'll buy the IDE to SATA and try the PC. And then yeah. if all of that fails miserably, I will have to find somebody with a chip box so I can just get the data. You never backed up your EE problem, Justin? It was in 2005. I don't even think I knew how to back then. I, I have six Xboxes, but that Xbox, I only have the hard drive left for it. I, I threw out the box. Damn. Yeah, so I can't get the e prompt. I have five other e proms though, for five different hard drives. I just don't have the one, the one I want. All right. Sorry, we holding up the room. I got one more question though. <laughs> one more question. If if the Xbox that the hard drive was in wasn't soft modded before it died, does that change anything? If it's dead now and you don't have the uh, EE prompt for it, then you're probably talk there. Ooh. So it has it had to have been soft modded before it died in order for the PC to do the ID to SATA bullshit. Yeah, the the main thing is so if it's not soft modded and that shit dies, how are you gonna recover it? You need to replace the power capacitors or whatever. That's the only way. You're not gonna be able to. Now that motherboard went in the dumpster, dude. So. Bucket. Yeah, so like the only way I can think of is by using a TSOP or mod chip uh, box. Going there. And the only difference between a TSOP and a mod chip, the mod chip is basically what the TSOP data has on it, but it, it's, it's one more step when booting up. So instead of booting into your actual BIOS, it's booting from the chip and ignoring your BIOS. Yeah. It's just one extra step. The, the same fucking thing though, it's just one or cleaner. All right, we'll we'll talk more in DMs. I'll try to see if we can do it. Okay. These guys falling asleep over here. I'm I'm getting a freaking history lesson. I missed all this shit. <laughs> like another thing too, the 1.6 Xbox, you can't TSAP it. You have to use a mod chip. Like the way they made it, they were constantly fighting the hackers throughout the the time. Yeah, One point like the. the well, you guys are never gonna tee stop again. Oh yeah, well we made them on chip. Fuck. Kind of shit that I have three 1.6s and two of them are dead and one works. And those are generally the cheapest ones too because of the, uh, you know, that limitation. That being said, I do have an extra chip on me. Have an extra what? Chip. I have a open Zenium chip on me. Oh. Yeah, well, fuck it. I need to do those things. <laughs> well, like I said, it just bypasses needing a TSOP. It just bypasses needing your BIOS because it uses the chip instead. I'm going to try a TSOP on the 1.0 or 1.1, whatever version it is. That's definitely what you should do. It's the easier. If I break it, I break it, whatever. You're not going to break it. You're going to be surprised how easy it is after you're done with it. be like, really? That's it? Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Uh, what generation? Uh, third gen. Ooh. Okay. Oh, is it tough one? So, like, um, you know the alphabet, right? Yeah. Like middle or beginning? They both have their their fun. I, I'm guessing middle. I mean this this one. Yeah. Yeah, I I always enjoy that one. I'm throwing hard to work then. I'll, I'll I'll take my baby. The reason I originally ended up TSOPing it though is because I wanted to be able to remove 
with the just drive and not have to worry about a fucking thing and make it a light rate knot and possibly even face knot it uh, without having to worry about that later. I can't believe I didn't even know what the fuck a T-stop was until today. I'd known about hard modding and chipped boxes, but I didn't know about like soldering a couple points and then flashing the shit. Yeah, so, I mean, it's all simplified now through a CD, too. Like I said, it's freeware, you find it online, and then I'll help you find it. You got a DVD burner? Yeah, I can burn a disc, and my Hitachi is pretty, probably the best one I've ever had. And then we just need the box to be able to read a DVD, and then we're good. Like, mine was on the brink of dying as it was being the, uh, the Hexen DVD. But the way that Hexen works is it starts up. What am I watching? Yeah, it starts up the uh, Hexen DVD. The Hexen DVD copies the files over. And then it does the flash. Gotcha. That way, in case of a CD DVD failure, it'll still keep going. I watched, I think the soldering is the hardest part. Once you have the disc burnt, then you pop it in, it's just GG from there. The That's all it is. I mean, is there any risk of the, the, the disc right in the action or whatever to fail? No, once, I mean, from reading it, yes. Um, but once you get past that shit, I'm done. Like once it installs the files over, which is like not even a ton of it'll it'll be good. Gotcha. To my right. Same, uh, same chat right? Yeah. Yeah, we're just throwing games. Yeah, this is throwing games that more in the world. I like that you are whispering it though, like they can't hear. Come on. Tell them that I can hear them. <laughs> Yeah, they're all right yeah. around my corpse, dude. Just go, go ham. 
I got them all in a nice little corral. Spread the love. Where is he? Right in front of you. 
Oh, you just fell over. Ooh. First said Dacious. You see him? Uh, he was up my ass, but I can't get Oh, he's, him. no, no, no. He's, uh, 1,200. Uh, 14 off my nose. My pedal came up. <laughs> Unplugged? Oh. Uh, I unplugged it. Oh. Oh. Huge rest. Oh. There you go. Sure. Come on, good sir. Turn left. Or right, either or. It'd be great if I knew where AP was, dude. I still can't see him. He's oh, out to my right. He's 22 out on my right. I think I'm dead. I'm dead. I think I'm gonna have Z kill me because I've been sitting here Not playing around with red. red. Alright. I can't dodge that one, I'm out of fuel. That Damn. sucks. Oh. I'm almost out of fuel and ammo right now. He's on uh, Charlie 4. Yeah. He's the uh, 12 for me. I think we have popped out, oh my god. What, the game connector? Yeah, like I had it uh, behind the pedal or something, and then when I pressed down, it just popped out. Like, oh, that's it. Nah, it'll be fine. We broke a pedal down here anymore. Nah. Uh, I think it is. I thought we were throwing tonight, but... Alright. Who's throwing the fucking thing? I was trying to leave. Oh, shit. He's stuck in the depot, just bombed the shit out of our base, dude. Yeah, I'm trying to get it. Uh, I think that's game. Unless they go and grab another base. They grab the Delta 2.
All he has to do is catch a little 15 minute nap before the event starts tomorrow. And he's good. The event's Saturday. Alright. Ah, it's Friday. We're gonna be fucking yeah. playing no matter what. The non event is tomorrow. The, the non event event tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'll be there. I just take two laps. Oh. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I'll catch you later. Rooms up. Alright, well, I don't be right back. I I can find my fucking key, I guess. But, uh, there's a bunch of shit on top of there right now, so I think my mind. came up with all of this food and got it. I'm saying, I just. My mind is not about putting it in a place that's covered right now. Well, I think of ice outside since it's Virginia they can't deal with like two inches of ice they don't get it every year everybody's talking about all the pileups in Texas right now because Texans can't drive in snow yeah they don't really get it there Virginia gets it every year at some point but they seem to think they would get OP kitchen face like oh we get snow every year <laughs> You don't even have like real snow plows here. It doesn't seem Shoot like face. it. It's like, like pickup trucks with things on the front. Like up in PA, in like little township middle of nowhere, every township have like a few hundred people and they'll have like two state of the art snow plows in their town hall. Like the little town hall like garage thing. All of them. Like, oh, there's like uh, two, three feet of snow? And you're like, they don't get a snow day from school back in the day. It's like, no. The road is clear. <laughs> there's a little bit of snow on the on the road, and the, the bus is fine. Go to school. I'm like, yeah, okay. Fuck. I mean, even if it did become a snow day, then I had to spend the entire day shoveling the driveway. So, I guess it didn't really good. I've never seen a snowplow in my life. Oh, that's not true. I see them when I go. I see them when I go back to visit family in the Midwest. But like, now there's a town. You know what that sounds like? There's a town up the hill from us here, um, outside of San Diego. It's called Big Bear, mm -hmm. and they're like, it's like there's like two mountain roads into that place. And they've got the big badass snow plows and But then they have to deal with all the day trippers coming up from like where I live. All of us idiots going up there and then not having chains. Hmm. And then well if you want and then they and then the fucking snow comes in and they go, Well if you want to get off the mountain you have to buy chains. Otherwise you'll die. <laughs> and every every fucking season a couple of people who are like, no, I'm going to sneak out at like three in the morning and then they're going to find me in my car off a cliff <laughs> the next day. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah, I just like going out since I work in evening time. Usually I'm up right now anyway, and it's been like, lasting this note a bit, and it's ice. I'll go out when they haven't gotten really 
any of the uh, parking lots clear, I'm just doing it around. As I look around, like, I know this one, it doesn't have any, uh, like, this little concrete things in the front, or, like, where you park, or anything, it's just flat. So just go out there and do it around a little bit. <coughs> First, you gotta do a little drive by, I'm like, I don't see anybody, anybody around, I don't see any shop cars. <laughs> check, <laughs> check all the, check all the dark corners for cops, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Fuck, man. That sounds fun. I'm like, yeah. Uh, I break the car, whatever. I finish paying it off, I need a new one. <laughs> that's, but, but that's the best part. If, <laughs> about driving a piece of shit. Yeah. It's like, whatever. It'll probably be fine. Yeah. It's not too bad of a car now, but I don't know. I'm gonna need a new one by the time I'm done here from all the driving I have to do. I have to drive about 40 minutes each way to get to work. Ooh, that's a lot of miles. Yeah. What do you drive, though? Uh, 2014 Dodge Avenger. Oh, okay. It's not that so it's fancy. pretty new. Yeah, I got it used to only have a thousand miles on it. But it was, uh, perfect. Cheaper just because of. I was like, okay, no need this. Because my car before that, I got rear ended. And it, like, was a total loss on it. It had been through free all out. So, I was like, yeah, that'll work, because I need, I need something right now. So. What's um, an adventure? Is that, is that a four-cylinder? They have four and six-cylinder. It's like, uh, it's like the budget, um, uh, God, I can't think of anything anymore. Mustang. Turn on Mustang, God. Charger. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's just a budget charger. It's like the yellow jacket. <laughs> that's why I was, I'm like, mine is just a four cylinder, which is fine because it's used. I didn't really get the option, but they have the six cylinder one, like the uh, S, like the uh, SX team. I forget what it is. Like, there's three different versions. The other two are six months and four, but it still works fine. It's like 2.4 liters still. It drives. It's a, I'm not trying wow, to. Wow, it's it a two. Yeah, sure. Two point four liter four. Yeah. That's it's a still, big ass cylinders. Yeah, it's a, it's a big four. So, I'm not mad. I just recently started driving my. I'm driving my first car again. Hmm. It's like the first car I ever, I ever bought. It's a little Saturn. A 2001 Saturn oh. SC2. Nice. My first car was a 97 Saturn SL2. Hell yeah, man! That's like... Saturn the, boys! It's like the Vitz right there. <laughs> it really was, because I like, remember it was a manual gear shift, so I'd learn how to do that, and I remember I would just put the pedal the entire way into the floor, like feel like I'm going fast. It's like, eh, I'm like, shit. I feel the whole way down. And third gear. I'm like, yeah, that's right. I'm in like 20 miles per hour right now, guys. It's fucking speeding. There is nothing more fun than a slow car going fast. <laughs> Dude, I wish mine was. I wish mine was a stick. The only part of that car. I'm at 206 thousand miles. Holy shit. The the and the only thing that shows any signs of of wanting to die desperately is the is the automatic transmission. Hmm. I already had on that. Only, it was pretty good. The AC didn't work. The sunroof was glued shut. Uh. Well, yeah, my sunroof never worked either. Yeah. But only, it was only one brand, so that was pretty good. Uh, the uh, nice. shifter cable for the shifter snapped while I was shifting it from second to third. Fortunately, it got stuck in second, and I was still in like, the development where I lived when I was down in Florida, so I had to drive in second gear, which was good enough, but it was hard to get over like the little speed bumps without trying to kill the engine. So I got back home, so I ain't gone that far. I'm like driving, I'm like, poof, I'm like, oh, the stick is just loose. I'm like, oh no, I just, the cable's gone. 
Okay, but but good thing you didn't like. Good thing you had the presence of mind to leave it in gear. Yeah. And not like try to take it out and then be stuck. <laughs> yeah, it would suck. <laughs> you uh, literally got stuck in VT limp mode. Yeah. Got stuck in second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. What's this? Uh, I forget. Seconds. Is Red back? I saw him. Yeah, he's in my. He's on the team. I assume he can hear us. I can't hear him though. But yeah, just any second gen. He's moving. His stuff. Any second. I drove that Saturn for, well, it was my first car, and I drove it till like, four years ago. <laughs> then I got a Mustang, I drove that for a while, and then I, I sold that uh, back in December, but I'd given the Saturn to my parents, I said, hey, I'll pay, like, you guys hear me? I'll pay the... Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. But I was just basically like, yeah, I'll pay the registration on it if you guys just want to hold on to it. And my dad just used it to, like, go down and buy a lot of tickets and shit. Oh, wow. Then I started driving it again, but, oh, man, I wish it was a stick. There's a guy at my work who had same year, but it was the five-speed Oh. Probably the same transmission that was in your SL1. Probably. Because I'm sure they didn't. I'm sure they didn't change it. Yeah. It's like driving a Rubbermaid box. It like squeaks every time you go over a speed bump. All the panels <laughs> wiggle. Definitely a way. It was definitely fun to drive. The fastest manage to get was 110, but I was going down a mountain on a highway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going back up to Pennsylvania from, uh, I don't remember where I was at. I think it was here for a long time ago. That's the first time. And then um, you go up to some part of, God, I don't remember highway names ever, but you go up a big mountain one side and you just drop down the other side. It's a long gradient down. And I'm like, I'm just going to this lake coast and it's coasting up to like 100. I'm like, yeah, fuck it. I'm like passing trucks. Like it's a game. I'm like, this isn't good, but I don't care. It's pretty fun. And then the car is like starts shaking. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna take off now. I'm just gonna put it all up and down. Yeah, no kidding. 
four years later. Yeah, he's just uh, pretty offensive taking out the one man North guy with. <laughs> I guess you got a rail gun, didn't you? I just, I just, yeah, I sucked a rail. <laughs> Couldn't see it though, right behind the fucking uh, tree. I was just trying to scout him for points, you know? <laughs> yeah. you're, you're good, just leave yeah. me. Yeah, just leave you know, the other one. two so we can and I rush him down and shoot him in the spot. He can't go anywhere. I'm scared. It's just a new one. Oh, is that all? Yeah, I want to get a little check. I'll let you find I really him. I really like him. Perfect. As soon as I can find him. Red's being sneaky. We're just by the base. Sarado. Over here. <laughs> Here's the flare. I'm wondering uh, how to tell how many caps you got left. Is it those red bars off to the left? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you that's, your, that's your champ. Okay. Try not to gray space when you're going to do that email. Or he'll just be kind of screwed. Yeah, just try and time it to. Because he'll keep saying missile warning you never know, jab until it hits the ground. But the rate of fire is like once every like what three seconds? Pushing just a little too hard. Don't forget you have uh, multi missiles on there too. Usually when you have three, you fire the rail and then you hit sub and you fire the multi missiles. Hit sub and you're ready to fire a rail again. I was told that the map's going to... There you go. Yeah. I'm on your left. Map's going to... Oh wow, that was pure luck. That's a hill open you. 
That's what I was actually, yeah. It's the... just fucking up the emphasis. Ah, dodging a little too early. Going out for Bailey? I think so. Oh. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, look at all they did. Think of everything else that your heart desires for you. Until I get paid next week, I'm gonna have to keep it on the mail. You can have some, but you want some money. Not when I'm using my today. Or in the bowl. Basically, like you're behind a swing spot right now. He's like, he's like behind the. Uh... Little hole. <laughs> I need one kill. Jesus. Hmm? What are you asking? He fed me. What are you doing? We can do a uh, free for all, we don't have to do the things and stuff. Sure. What gen do you want to do? Uh. First gen to making town? So I can't use my FSS hat? So that I can try to get better with the shotgun on the fighter. I still want a QR. I'm just 
just two TRs stuck together. <laughs> Hell yeah. You are. Just think of that shotgun, but I want to put two of them together so it shoots four at a time. Just run up and shoot people right in the gut. I haven't had a chance to use the HVM yet. I'm trying to be a cool weapon idea, but I'm guessing it's shit. No, that's good. It's just, it's like a cheap railgun, but fires slower. There's also, they can't really tell if you fire it, but like you get, they'll get a shot warning, they have more time to dodge. Really. Ah. It's like 800 to 2000 range or something. You know, the first week for fucking, uh, King or whatever had to suck. You could only use what? The Decider, the Vitz, the fucking Falchion? Decider, Vitz, Falchion. Whatever that, uh. Scareface. Vortex. And Vortex. Yeah, but it later. Later. Well, in the. Uh, I mean, like, the third mission, you kill it, you get you can use one. Oh, I thought he meant, like, an online campaign. Oh. Cider too. Fine. Uh, I need deciders. You don't gotta be the deciders. I just wanted to be the deciders. Wanted to get some crack chase to your face and just sit in the way and stuff. Like uh, downgrading from table modem to a fucking 56k. Hmm. Playing a 1. Like everything looks so old. Looks aesthetic. I like it. It's the future of the past. I tried to turn around, but I can't even see the other thing now. So I'm just gonna drive it in and have it running each other. Sounds like a plan. Oh, uh, yeah. I love a designer sandwich.
Fighting is the one I want. Great XP filing for my phone, but unfortunately. Romeo and Juliet, it's a conspiracy. 
I did I threw myself into the water so we could get a kill. That's actually worse. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, <laughs> farm right next to you guys while you start it out. Sound good? That's kind of for sure. <laughs> Hopefully I can boot up or something. Uh-oh, all my systems online. Uh-oh. Yeah, just get him from behind. No! Don't listen to him. <laughs> hey, he's gonna run to the red line. He's in the combat area. I'm skiing out here. Bye, guys. <laughs> That is really close. Behind a building. <laughs> I'll take that. An equal number of dust and build. I'll take it. Points are totally shit though in a first tier match, I see. Firsts are fun when it's flat, because all you have to worry about is leading left and right. Oh, I didn't even think it about gets, it, yeah. It gets really nasty when there's like hills and shit. You gotta start leading up and down, doing compound lead. Hmm. You guys want to do seconds or first again? Yeah. Or thirds. We can do seconds. My girlfriend had to fucking go out and get bay leaves because apparently uh, the soup recipe is not complete without that. I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. It's just a leaf. Hmm? She, she wants to cook with these bay leaf things. Like, apparently the whole soup is ruined because there's no bay leaf. Soup? You put bay leaves in soup? Yeah. Oh. Well, what kind of high-level cooking is this? So she uh, she does work at a restaurant. So I mean, hmm. some bougie cooking right there. I don't. Well, I don't know how to she cook this way. Well, so it's like it's its own pain in the ass. I just know how to cook things to not kill me. That's <laughs> the important one. Oh, Mike, right, this right. is cooked enough. That's good. What color is this chicken supposed to be? I like my ah. medium rare. <laughs> I like my chicken bloody. <laughs> Give me that salmonella. Salmonella adds flavor. Right, seconds. seconds. You go keep talking a lot. Seconds. Speaking of which, do you guys even use the fucking uh, the, uh, DT that uses the comms thing or not? Uh, the sheepdog? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I just figured that it's like a relic now since there's a... Uh... It literally tells you where everyone is on the map the whole time. And you can tell you... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's got, it's got a couple gonna... other things going for it too. The Deeping Spear will show up on it. Like, if you lock someone, it'll show up. But if they were mm -hmm. talking to the in-game comms, then you can hear them. Is this a fucking nighttime mission? <laughs> yeah. I forgot. I said it the same as that. It's more fun. Time mm -hmm. to use the nighty night scope. Move it off and hit a building. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That works too. It'd be worse if you had rail guns, because the night scope one you can't see the rails since they're about to hit you. Well, I mean, you guys are trying to have a I'm like, ah, uh, what machine gun? I know that was DP missiles that killed you, and nothing else. Ball at them and then it explodes. 
they're, yeah, they're pro proximity fused. Shoot out like a little, a little triplet of them. Oh, I like that idea. I'm not used to that. I think an idea. Only the single one on the boat. Oh, there he is. Oh, time to use chaff. I think it's time for me to hide in the city. Wait, it's harder to move it. Oh god, no. I didn't bring it. Oh. 
It would ruin my day in an interesting way. Namely, I would uh, reset my Xbox, probably. Yeah, but the first time uh, Fisher was on that thing, I couldn't even hit him. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. But really all you need to do is get some like a 140 with some sort of machine gun or proc weapons and then you can rip it apart. He's gonna keep it from getting behind you. Alright, you ready for this suggestion? Yeah, we're gonna hate it. Only vistas, not even M vistas. Okay. Deal. What kind of map? Um, you can do any crazy map you want, as long as it's like a little flag free. I won't make it uh really hilly. <laughs> Put it uh, on, on the one of the Ten. No, I'm not. I was just joking. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> How about 13? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I am always down for a Vitz rally. So, the smart setup on the Vitz is you take the 77, 40, and then grenades and chain gun. I'm using chain gun with the proximity explosive cannon thing with the grenade. Yep. Well, he did. That's it. Two 77, 140s, grenade 67, because then you can swap between the wrecks. Fire faster. Maximum wreck. Because then you get off too faster as you're closing and pull 140, fire one grenade, swap to 67, then straight for once. Then it turn. Another wreck. Like 1980s tactic. Small. Like I was also reading if the uh, AP sent me on the uh, website thingy. Uh, yeah, line of contact doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one and uh, even that one said that that one was shit. Yeah, Stoic likes to use it when we do this. Right, this matches. I did a match with it within a second time. So. It's like half the speed of a projectile, if it hit correctly. Which will get you on fire. And it does a good amount, I guess, for first hit. It does a good amount for it does a good amount for a bits. Yeah. Basically anything else, there's no point in taking it. Yeah, Stone just likes to use it to flex on it. So. <laughs> Just over yeah. here, like, oh, how did you see the 4A and kill everybody? <laughs> oh, you got the baby. I took the rifle. Okay. Oh my god, I'm on fire. Oh my god, he's back. Yeah, he's staying on the other one. And I have win by 11%. Seven, just run 
happening to them and hold down the machine guns. Oh, that's not like she tried to I tip the bits somehow. Wow. You win a prize. A regular bits tipper. Xbox is she on. Huh? This thing only goes 120 though. I'm very uh, surprised. Thing is like cheap in the campaign. Hmm? Were these things like dirt cheap in the campaign? Yeah. I think they're like 1,000. Hmm. Or in this campaign, I don't know. I was six. My girlfriend only gets to see me die in this game, never win. Dive so many times. She thought the objective of this game was to blast off, like to yeah. go into space. The objective was to take enough damage <laughs> to actually eject. Oh shit! It's easier for a camel 
to thread the eye of a needle, than for Z to drive through a repair depot without hitting it. Run away, Vitz. Use your unbeatable speed. <laughs> Outrun the other Vitz on the road. <laughs> He's gonna go faster now by like five miles per hour. I don't even know how much more is it. Like, no, oh, it's like 11. I'm not sure which one of you to go after. Uh, you I sacrificed myself. Oh, I'm going Oh, yeah. You're already looking at him. He's right in front of you. Oh, yeah. I'm still turning around for like oh, the next oh. five minutes. Shoot at the count. Really faster to shoot at you while you're down. I'm gonna shoot both of you while you hit each other. Oh no, I didn't get it. Perfect. The longest circle fight in history. I uh, won't be when I just keep the bomb for exit. I wonder how I have to have a range advantage or something. That rifle is a range advantage. Like 50 fucking meters. And then the wreck just goes off anyway. How did I ever win? I just won. You went like high sheet in general versus the fighters on the first three. Oh my fuck. I mean, if you have a bunch of bitches, like yeah, she's a team, you can burn. Just they just go different directions. Back. They all fire bricks at like one side of the two business, and then they go to the side of the employees and carry the bird. It just gets murdered quickly. Glass. Machine gun. It has wrecks. Especially if there's, uh, um, vortexes on the same team as the bits. It actually killed you with some lead shots. Didn't even lock up the on there. I mean, I think you're leading some wrecks, so they just kind of do it. <laughs> I mean, you have to lead a little bit for this one bit. But they do most of the work for you. So how they look They're a very high skill one. Only the best people use Rex. Or Vince. Coming for that kill. Coming for that kill. There you got it. Did you fall over at the end there? No. I slid out of the way. <laughs> I thought you were just coming out. hit you. Give me a big ol' hug. Wow, look at that hit rate. Yeah, it rocks. Really See, all the best players use the 77. <laughs> look at the fucking hit rate. <laughs> I just use 77 but, on this. Vitz. Because it's. It needs it. I'm saving that yeah. replay. I'm not gonna try and use a 270RI fighting Scareface or something. No. You're, it's it's like well like we just found out it literally has like no advantage. It doesn't. Practically speaking, yeah, it's got a little more range, but come on, like nine times out of ten, you're gonna just bump into each other. If you guys are doing second job, I'm going for the fattest half I know. You're going for the what? Fattest ass I know, the seed bug. That thing has the fattest ass. Better you can both be Evitzes and go against my seeds so I can look out guys. Very well. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that.
It's okay, we'll come in first and second. If we hit it. <laughs> the game takes pity on you when you're in a bits. Shall we do... Do you want to practice more freehanding stuff, Red, or you want to do a second gen? Oh, I'm, I'm down for anything. I just wanted to have at least one bit match to pick it on there. Alright. Let's practice adverse weather conditions. So there's, there's fog, there's rain, and there's frame rate. What <laughs> this? I hate when my phone I'm just getting thumbs so. out. <laughs> no, it goes, not... goes outside like, oh shit, I'm lagging. <laughs> like, my <laughs> FPS out today. We're seeing a high, we're seeing a high uh, band, bandwidth front coming in. And you know what that means? Next week, everybody, the frame rate's going to drop. Oh man, I can hardly. Move outside. It's I would like to, to since I have an alternative work time, try to get some organized for Wednesday, like two v twos or something. What time's usually good for you, AP? Like, what time do you usually get home from work? About midnight. Your time. Oh, okay. That's why you're always on so late. Right now, yeah. <laughs> the person I've seen on every time. That's because I'm crazy and I just get on because everyone else who doesn't have that schedule keeps getting on this week. Well, I mean, usually, you know I work late. Right? Yeah, but usually earlier in the night, uh, Stoic and Kyle get on this week, and then I'm like, all right, I'll get on. And then Razor usually gets on if he's not off um, somewhere and he's available at like one-ish. And then Red gets on later. Well, dots are popping right now. All of them. Fire. I love Jungle. Jungle Book. Razor says he wishes she could get on. chances. I forgot the event's not tomorrow, it's Saturday. We still have the not event tomorrow anyway. Yeah. We'll definitely be on tomorrow. Try to get on Saturday. We'll see. I can't wait what? to have this fucking moving shit behind me. Yeah. What time is the Friday shit usually? What time does it go till? Oh. It depends. Wait. Where, where, what's your time zone? Are you, uh, west or east? Central. Oh, okay. So it'll, it'll probably go till, like, 2, your time. Easy. Uh -huh. Yeah, starts at 8, depending on how it goes, but recently it's pretty good. We got up, like, 10. Stay around 10 until, like, 11, 12, maybe. I get off at, let's see, 3.30 to 1. Yeah, I get off at 1 a.m. 1, 1 on Friday, so I mean, I might be able to come in for that last hour. There'll probably still be people. It probably won't be a 5v5, but there'll be at least four or five people on still, most likely. That's good enough for me. Are we doing threes or twos? What are we doing? I'm doing twos. Uh, I think I, you wanted to you wanted to try out this exact right. Oh uh, yeah, the second time you're doing it. Yeah. That badass. Besides the earth shaker, which is just ridiculous. I do like how it looks. It reminds me of uh Well have you ever heard of have you ever heard of the S tank? Mm hmm There's so, like, you know how most tanks have turrets? No. Except for bits, bits. Yeah, well, that's like what the S tank is. The Swedish built it in, like, the, the 1960. They were like, nah, tanks don't need turrets. Tank is the turret. 
and every so it's just this like wedge with a gun sticking out of it. When I look at the Zuck, that's what I see. It's just a wedge with legs. Yeah. My first encounter with the uh, Zug was actually way back in I think what like 2004. And uh, I want to get demolished by some dude in a juggernaut. Oh, so you, oh, so you played this game on live? Oh shit. Yeah, but way back. I didn't even own the game. I played it in a land center. Like where they, uh... It's like there were six of these controllers set up and you could connect to the internet and you had to pay like 10 bucks an hour to play. That's fucking cool. Where was this? Was this just at somebody's like house or is that like an arcade? It was an arcade thing that they had to run like 10 bucks an hour to play either PC or just steel battalion and um yeah it was, it was kind of cool. I, I don't see signs like that anymore that do that anymore. the ones where it's like a built-in kind of thing. Battletech Polaris game, it was a little 
balanced, actually, is what I want to do. Shittiest graphics you can think of, though. Like, if you remember... God, what was the name? Tech Warrior 2. Tech no. Warrior 2 was like... It was like Vector. It was Death of the Map. It was like, um... So that's how Mech Warrior 2 was a shit. But... So did I. God. Oh my god. That was like the like the original battle. Yeah, where it was actually vector. There was like no shading. Wait, so that was called Battletech Solaris? Like Solaris of it. Battletech Solaris multiplayer uh, and it was only on AOL 1.0. And it was pretty cool. They already had uh, like everything divided by regions, and you can take over the region, and accumulate like, promotions, promotions that you pilot more max, uh, ranking systems that like it make you, you know, actually rank up. But you could also totally uh, select the different variants. You couldn't like equip individual weapons and shit like that, but you could select the variants of mechs that actually exist to the board. Battle table elaborate. The fuck? It says you're right in front of you. Right? What? No, you can't see me. I'm invisible. Oh, shit. I've been spotted. I don't know why. Pokey pokey. Bang to you. Yeah. I use you my hope. Pokey pokey. Full fight. You've also not been drilling. Um, so yeah, it was pretty elaborate. So I usually piloted the assassin. I was light mech. Because light mech, unlike Death Warrior Online, the new one, light mech actually meant something. No. <laughs> You're like, nah. <laughs> no, Missy. Now when you say, so how did, how did they get lights to work? Were they just a lot faster? It wasn't the fastness, it was actually the terrain you could use it to your advantage. And um, the weapons didn't deal shit damage. Like, a light had enough maneuverability to go on someone's ass. Yeah, pretty much. So I don't have a reverse thumb clock. I'll just do it here. Um... <laughs> I'm just... I'm not even shooting. But, uh, yeah, the... You can shoot in the back of, like, an atlas as an assassin. The word jumps in. Um... You go back there, you hit them, it would weaken their core so that anyone who was coming after the front could easily... Once they plow through that armor, like, they could get the structure, no problem. Or if you hit the back, it would start taking out weapons too. Like, uh, any of their heavy missiles in the center would go out. There was an explosive system too. Like, if you destroyed their ammo compartment, it would explode the whole thing and then uh, Atlas would explode. And I mean, this was back in 1990. Like, holy crap, you know? You guys, like a, you guys had like a cargo light
recently went back and played that Warrior 2. I missed that there's no uh, interview next on that one now. But, um, what's the what? Uh oh. Uh, what the fuck? Uh oh. I was distracted, you know what I did? Okay. I pressed ignition oh. while Matt put the controller forward. Well, that kicks everyone <laughs> out. <laughs> uh, that shouldn't have done it, because he's not hosting. I'm hosting. I'm yeah, hosting, but, right? But we both got kicked at the same time, though. Yeah, Dude, my Kai died. Yeah, I'm still in Kai. I'm making my back. Huh. You're nervous. Did that really it kicked all of you out? Holy shit. Nah, that can't have been it. It instant, like, snap, it was done. It's a connection error for me. But that still yeah. solves Uzi, so we'll get the gut kicked together. Because usually you don't see anyone else and you get kicked by yourself. Yeah, no, I saw, I saw I saw somebody I saw somebody else's That still says arena boat. That's weird. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, I'm gonna have to see if there's a way to change that fucking setting though to uh, be slightly different so that I'm, because I guess the ignition uh, has exactly the right button press to be like black back and then both triggers. It must have the exact same sequence. Sure. Yeah, I'll do one. One more and then... Yeah, I'll do the rest. What the fuck time is it? It's almost 3 in the morning here. It's yeah, almost 6. Almost in the morning. Yeah, uh, 6 a.m. Yep. Fun time. We'll probably not pilot the fatty again. Yeah, you should be able to see it. Let me see here, so I might have like totally hard rebooted my box that way. No, I just, just got in there and tried looking. Oh, there it I'm is. Just trying to, I'm just trying to figure out how come him leaving would have axed the connection. I don't know. Because there's not that many people. They just took it out. My, I mean, the way that it would boost the box is it is like literally going over and turning it off and on, like that's how it does it. I don't know if that actually affects it or what. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, are we tech one or tech two? Hmm? Tech one or tech two? I'm gonna go tech two. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pick a. I'm just gonna go standard two. But if you look on YouTube, yeah, there is a video of multiplayer Battletech Solaris. It's the, like, the only video there is, because it went defunct back in the 1990s. After, 
AOL became less popular. Popular? told me to take an M2. Alright, I'll probably not press the ignition mode because the controller not fully. So you press ignition and then which stick do you push forward? Yeah, right stick has to go forward, otherwise the whole Xbox will it. Uh, it only happens if you have it hard enough. I'm guessing because it presses the exact same key combination required for the hard mod reset that you can set 10 or can't set up one of the two. I know on IMD you can set the exact combo you want, but on Executor 3, which I use, I don't know what you can. You guys just blow each other up? What the fuck? Yeah. You came in and distracted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, first time alive. I'm in M2, I cannot move. I turn like a mess. I can't get away. Like there there no, there's no healing, right? No. no. There is. Yeah. It's called dying and getting a new You know why there aren't any technicians for this? Because when it's broken, we just blow it up and get a new Oh my god, it's on the top. Like uh, <laughs> one of those disposable <laughs> cameras. They don't produce it after.
Did you spot in the same spot? I have the Discord like join round or whatever. I have this problem with this fucking program where if I just like sit in a chat for a while, every once in a while it'll just spontaneously disconnect me. Oh, I ever get. Do you ever have that problem? I'm on an Android device. Kind of an old one. No, I'm using an iPad or a I, uh, maybe it's in the settings, though, honestly. It seems like an interesting little problem. I mean, I'm on an S7, so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. a good fucking product. What a novel idea. No, let's fill the planet with disposable VTs and disposable phones. <laughs> Somebody else shooting this. That was good. Oh, 
lucky. Two, one. Yeah, I'm not gonna die. <laughs> Fucking M2 tried to kill you. How many kills? Zero. Yeah, M2, yay. Next kill. Wow. Alright, guys, you gonna take off? Cool. Thanks for jumping on. Oh, there will be more days. I look forward to my first promotion that's happening. Will that mean more free time? Or does that mean we'll never see you again? I mean the uh, promotion in the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gets promoted. I'm betting these presents now. <laughs> no, there's no promotions at my job. You, you become a dealer, a dual rate, and then that's the end, end of the line. There's no promotions at my job either. Yeah, I mean, it's a casino. There's no, like, there's, there's three spots. Dealer, dual rate, who does, like, management and dealer, and then uh, supervisor. And then the only thing above that is the shift supervisor, who runs it all, like, runs the whole casino, and then that's it. There's no other position. But they all make the same fucking pay about. Uh, dealers actually make the best money. Like, the supervisors get paid less because they're on an actual salary. Whereas the dealers get a blended rate where they make uh, tope, plus they make, uh, like, tips, tope, and then they also make their base rate. Wow. Doesn't sound like a bad deal, but what are the hours like? Uh, the shittiest hours you can imagine. You work from, like, tomorrow, or today, brother. I work 3.30 till 1.00. Off at one, like you were saying. No, yeah, like, uh, and then the day after that, it's going to be what is it, 12 to 11 or some shit. It's, it's retarded hours, like 10 hours a day. You work four days a week, three days off, but you make about 25 an hour. I was going to say, is it if it was like a 410 or something, that would, I don't know, I guess it depends on who you are. Do you like that? Do you like that better than have you ever worked five and two? I like it better. Um, yeah, if you're new hire, like, uh, newbie, uh, you don't get the cool four days, three off. You get five days, two off. And it's a lot shittier because, yeah, you work eight hours supposedly on all those days, but they overtime you so much that it might as well be ten hours on certain days anyway. Especially right now where the industry's hurting because, uh, what's going on is there's all these gamblers coming in with their Biden bucks and stuff.